Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to animate this beautiful infographic which we had designed yesterday. So let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the animation pane. Now select the blue color outer and inner design shapes. Apply wipe animation and change the direction from top under effect options. Similarly, let's select the outer and inner outline shapes. Again apply wipe animation and this time we will not change the direction but let's start them after previous. Next select all the numerical text fields and then group them together. This will help us to animate them in one shot. So now let's apply the wipe animation to this group and start it after previous. Now carefully select the group of pointers which are above these numerical values and then apply wipe animation. Change the direction from top under effect options and start it with previous. Now select all these animations and then increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Next select the center small circle shape, apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Finally let's select the needle shape, apply wipe animation and start it after previous. Let's preview the animation until this stage. So far so good and that looks beautiful. Next set of animations will be a bit tricky, so let's understand it correctly. Now we will animate this needle shape and make it perfectly point at each of the six circle positions. But important is to identify the rotation angles. So let's try to rotate this needle to the position of first circle shape which has the numerical value of 30. We already know to rotate this needle by half a circle, we need 180 degrees. And now we need to find the missing angle until first circle position. For that, let's go to insert tab and then draw a line shape at the half circle position. Change its outline color and weight just for better visibility. Now let's duplicate this line using Ctrl plus D and align it at the same position. Let me zoom in a bit and then right click on this line shape and choose format shape. On the right side pane, under size and properties section, let's rotate this line by say 50 degrees. It's purely a guesswork that I'm doing here. Now align this line to the center and check if it points to the first circle position. Obviously, we need to increase the rotation angle. Let's make it to 65 degrees this time and again check if it points to the first circle position. Let's slightly increase the rotation angle say by 67 degrees and then check again. Still it is not pointing correctly. Let's make it 68 degrees and this time it points at the correct position. So the total angle of rotation will be 180 degrees plus 68 degrees. So the total will be 248 degrees of rotation. With that calculation, let's go to animation tab. Make sure to select add animation option so that you don't overwrite the previous animations and then apply spin animation to the needle. Let's show up the animation pane on the right side and then reduce the duration to 1 second. Next go to effect options and add the bounce and effect of 0.5 seconds. Finally enter the rotation angle as 248 degrees and then click on OK. Now at this position let's animate the circle shape and both text fields with zoom animation and start them after previous. So far so good. Now our needle is at the position of first circle shape and we need to rotate this needle with one complete circle. 
and then move it further to point it at the second circle position. We already know one complete rotation will make 360 degrees and we need to find the additional angle to make this needle point at the second circle position. So let's duplicate this line shape and then zoom in a bit. If we select the format shape pane on the right side and then check its rotation angle, obviously it will be 68 degrees as we have already rotated it during our previous calculation. Now let's align this line shape at the same position and now we will do a small trick here. Let's hold and drag the end point of this line at the different position. Release your mouse button and then realign this end point back to the same position. By doing this way, the rotation angle will reset to zero and now we can rotate it to find the new angle. Now let's rotate this line by say 40 degrees and align it to center to check if its position is correct. We need to increase the angle slightly. Let's make it 45 degrees and now it aligns perfectly. So one complete rotation will make 360 degrees and we need to rotate it by additional 45 degrees. So total will be 405 degrees. So with that calculation on hand, let's apply spin animation to needle. Click on animation pane and set the duration to one second. Next go to effect options and add the bounce and effect of 0.5 seconds. Finally enter the rotation angle as 405 degrees and then click on OK. Now at the second position, let's animate the circle shape and both text fields with zoom animation and start them after previous. Let's preview the animation of these needle positions and it animates perfectly at the required positions. Now from second position, we will again rotate this needle by one complete circle and then move it forward to the third circle position. Now we don't have to do the previous calculation once again to find the additional rotation angle. Since all the circle positions are evenly placed from second circle position, the rotation angle between each of them will still remain the same, that's 45 degrees. Or the total rotation angle will still be 405 degrees as before. So let's continue to apply spin animation to the needle. Reduce the duration to 1 second. Under effect options, increase bounce and effect to 0.5 seconds and set total rotation angle to 405 degrees. Also select third circle shape and its text fields. Apply zoom animation and start them after previous. Follow the same steps to rotate this needle shape at 4th, 5th and 6th circle positions with a total rotation angle of 405 degrees. Also make sure to apply zoom animation to respective circle shape and their text fields. Let me speed up to save time. Finally, delete all reference lines and here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment down. See you all in the next tutorial.